Hey guys, Tyson from Sturdy, and I wanted to show you these cool new platforms that we made. We originally made these for the Classic, our invitational competition. They are heavy enough that we were able to rest them up against a wall that was about this high, and just by standing against the wall, they didn't move. They are constructed out of two by sixes, three quarter inch plywood, and thick three quarter inch rubber matting. Build plans for this, very simple. You put your vertical framing members butted up against your end pieces. We use three inch decking screws on all of the connections for the framing members, two in each one. We use two inch decking screws on the plywood piece attaching it. Uh, we do six inches on all of the outside edges and 12 inches on all of the inside edges. There's two inside edges for the frame. And then I found these one inch, th one inch long, really aggressive pan head black screws that we use to attach the rubber. You just go halfway through the rubber and it sticks. Our favorite use right now is just to lean it up against our cage. This is a Schedule 80 one and a half inch pipe that it's resting on, plenty strong. And we just built a small lip so that it kind of hooks onto it at the top. And depending on how high this bar is, it sets the angle of the wall. We put them on top of any two sturdy things that we have in the gym and we make platforms out of them. Here we have it braced up against a concrete wall at about 45 degrees. If it goes any lower than this, I think it gets pretty dangerous. This whole structure weighs about 270 pounds, which could easily crush a kid. No going underneath it whenever it's set up like this. And if it's lower than 15 degrees, put rubber mats on the wall to reduce the risk of slipping down. Our coaches started using these immediately after we built them. There's a couple things that I'd like to change and get done on them. I'd love to have a rounded section on the top here with rubber over it as well, so that it sticks better to the floor and to walls. And then I was also thinking of a way that we might be able to clamp it into bars to use it either upright like this or as a platform between two bars. My current idea is to take like a two by two and basically just make a system where you could clamp it onto a bar like this. Uh, I don't quite like this because you have stuff in the way. Um, so I'm looking into what different kinds of clamps that you could grab, but if you have any ideas, let me know. So there you go. The safety of these depends entirely how you use them. So let us know if you build one and what you use it for. And please subscribe, youtube.com slash sturdymade. And we'll see you there.